Hello, friendly listener. You are now tuned in to the Rambling Rogue Show. I'm your host, Rambling Rogue, a.k.a. Jires Rogue. And today, um, it's not quite a special episode so much as it's a bit of a uh, transformative episode because today I got a little bit of... Uh, I got a little bit of a surprise for you, listener. So... If I could just get a nice little, uh, what, 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 which one do I want here? Maybe, like, let's get one of these. Let's get one of these. Let's get one of those. Have we got a few of those? All right. You guys ready? Three, two, one. So, you are now tuned into the Rambling Rogue Show. I am your host, Rambling Rogue, a.k.a. Jires Rogue. And today, I'm equipped with a mic that isn't bound to the table. And I've always been equipped with this mic. I just didn't think to use it until now. And there you go. That's your surprise, listener. Um, it's a tad bit loud, so I'm going to not like have it right on my mouth. But I'm going to have it like decently there. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, um, yeah, it is July the 3rd. It is a Tuesday. We're late again. We're not following the, I guess, uh, schedule that we've set for ourselves. I'm so sorry, listener. And, you know, you know, you guys are the ones that are suffering for it. I'm, I just, I, I just don't know what to say. I'm the only one that is guilty here and I should be to blame. Flame me, you know, uh, call me some mean names, you know, do whatever, you know what I mean? But it's the rambling rogue show. You guys are now tuned into, what is this? What are we on? Like episode 20 something? Like 20, 25 or some shit? I don't even know. Hold on. Let's check, let's check the episode right now. Hold on. Let's let's do a quick SoundCloud search. You know, Jairus Rogue's not good with the numbers. He's, you know, he's not he's not great with recounting the numbers. Let's get a little zoom in here. Your host, not the best numbers guy. Okay, not the best numbers guy. But, uh, you know, what he is good at is rambling for... I guess, hey, 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 I, I guess you guys are like this. He is good at rambling for long amounts of time. So there goes some numbers there for you. Huh? Yeah. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> I looked wild as shit right there. <laughs> um, Let's see what episode we are on, man. Let's see. We are on episode because last week we didn't have an episode and we're going to get into that. But we are now on episode 25. So, hey, listener, if you're here and you've been listening for for a while, look, 25. So, it's real, it's real. So, uh, you know. Appreciate you, listener. You guys are the ones that are making this all possible. And, um, yeah. 25 episodes. Here's to 25 more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm a little, I, I guess that got a little awkward, huh? You know, because it's like I started with the 25 thing. It was very joyous. And I just kind of, you know, just leaned, just leaned back. Anyway. We've got a few things to ramble. We've got a few things to ramble about today, listener. We've got a few things to go in about today. You know, we're 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 not gonna take too much of your time today, but but we're definitely definitely gonna be. You know, we're gonna be going in. We're gonna be going in a little bit. You know, I I've got some passion on on, on one or two of these topics here. So so what 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 are we talking about today? What are, what are, yeah yeah what are we what are we, what are we doing today? Um, let's start with. Hey, yeah. I'm in a really... Okay, it's the summertime, listener. And the summertime in California is hot. And the summertime in California, you know, it it, it has a way of... I don't know, man. It, it, it's just the heat. just has a way of getting me, and a lot of people, I think, just moving. And so, you know, I think that right now is, you know, more than ever, the summertime you'll start to see a lot more people, you know, get more entrepreneurial. Uh, excuse me. 
It's early in the morning. It's 9 a.m. You'll start to see people get more entrepreneurial. And I don't know. With that, at least I feel, you start to actually catch much more, like, schemes. So, like, that's why I don't know if you've noticed this as well, listener. But if you're, like, in tune with, like, the hip-hop world, there's been a lot of, of course, with X. But there's been a lot of, uh, you know... You know, robbings and, and just like shootings and not shootings particularly, but just a lot of robbings and like, you know, a lot of um at gunpoint robbings and um people are getting, uh I guess, hungry. And the summertime, I think, really brings that out of people. And so I just say that to say, <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> that I'm doing Postmates again. You know what I'm saying? So we out there delivering food for people in ish. And, um, you know, putting in the work, putting in the hours necessary, the grind that's needed. Maybe I should do, like, some Postmates tutorial videos. Huh? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be lit. Because, honestly, it's really, it's cool because it's just, I mean, I could do it because it's lit in my area. Like, literally, if I were to, like, if it's, if it could be that, like, Postmates is just popping, like, the, uh, I guess, like, the area. Like, everybody's just ordering stuff, and I'm just at home, and I'm just in between all of it, and I could just turn my thing on while I'm at home, and I could literally just catch an order. Like, it, it literally could be like that. It has been like that. So, it's just, I don't know. Postmates, DoorDash. I want to try Uber Eats, but um, it's it's really, their sign-up shit is just weird, and it never worked for me. But it's lit right now. I'm getting some extra cash, saving it up for the... Uh, you know, set up, the old set up, because right now we've got a uh, two hundred dollar Asus that needs to be replaced, and honestly, uh, it's 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 really helping out. You know, um, Postmates. You know, you you do it for a few hours one day, you do it for an, another few hours the next day, you will see a nice little bump that, like shit. If it wasn't there, you would you would be feeling it. Like, I got about. I'll be honest, I got about like, cause I mean, I'm only working about, uh, you know, four hours, four hours a day at the job I'm working at right now. So it's just like literally 1260 an hour and, and four hours, five days, you know, my check comes out to like 250 ish or maybe even a little bit more sometimes. And it's just like, that's good. It's good. But it's like that extra 50 bucks, that extra 60 bucks. And of course about, I calculate about 10 of that. <laughs> 12 of that goes to my tank, you know, off rip, but about that extra 50 bucks that I get, you know what I'm saying? The remainder, it's a nice little nudge, you know, I could put that towards savings, really nice, like, I don't know, man, big increments of money, well, not big, but just like increments of money like that, like 50 to like, you know, 75, like just, just above that number, that's pretty good in your savings when you just kind of just put that down at times. So that's what I've been able to do because of Postmates and because of DoorDash. So I'm doing that shit again. You see a lot of shit, though, as a uh, driver. You do see a lot of weird shit. Though not even weird, particularly. You just... Some confusing shit. And then I also just kind of... Ah, it was just fucking up people's orders. And it's lit because, like, when you fuck up people's orders, people can't really do anything. Like anything at all you know like they could they like they could complain to the app they can complain and they could even give me a negative review but it's like i mean at least in the case of doordash i guess if i get so many negative reviews you know they'll ban me i think in both really but it's just like the hell most of these people that i'm delivering to don't even really like at least the way they look they don't look like they'd be the type of people that are going to really go in and give a review. They look like the type of people that get their food, tap, tap, tap away, and then they're just done. Like, it's just over. And in my experience, I mean, I've been pretty much getting positive reviews, even though I definitely have fucked up a few people's orders. And it wasn't even my fault. I'm only saying that like, a, like, like, like it's a funny thing, just because it was just so ridiculous the way that these things happen. Like, it would just be accidental, but it would, it would always be like okay i'll be taking three big ass freaking fruit drinks you know southern california what you'll find a lot of 
here is is people are just really addicted to spice but for some weird reason you know latinos they're very very into just spice in their drinks and i i don't get it honestly it's just no 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 it's just no but they you know what i'm saying tajin all that good stuff but this drink that i got i don't even know what the the, the shop was called but it was some kind of watermelon infusion that was like it was more watermelon based and then it just had like all sorts of just like this powdery shit all over i don't even know if it was tajin or what the hell it was and then it and then this the straw that that it had too was also just this big powdery just like thing that i think was edible as well maybe it was like a fruit maybe it was licorice i don't even know what it was but it was just like a big like a stick but it was like a straw of course but it was like a but it was powdery and it was red and it was all red like it was just all red it's just no that did not look it didn't look appetizing to me it looked like diarrhea it looked like death and it or it, lit, it looked like what well not okay let me rephrase it didn't look like diarrhea like it didn't look like shit right like it didn't you know it looked great it looked like like appealing like visually it looked good you know like the drink looked cool it looks cool but it's just like when you drink it like and, and if and if you're mean if you just understand like spices and shit it just looks like diarrhea this looks like hell on the toilet I don't want this. No. So basically, I, you know, I'm, I'm delivering this drink and it, and there's a couple other drinks. Um, so basically the other drinks are just like these like ice cream drinks with like these candy cane things coming out of it or whatever, you know, like, like, like a mocha latte thing with like a, a, you know, with the, you know, it's in a cup, but it's like ice cream and, and then like, you know, they have the whipped cream on top and shit. It's very colorful. Anyway. I'm taking it, it's in a cup holder, and I have the drinks inside of my passenger seat. I'm swinging left, swinging right. I even, I think I even do get onto the freeway as well to make this order for a little bit. And I swear to you, bro, I was, I was driving so normal. I was not doing anything crazy. And first of all, it was difficult for me to find these person, these people's order, like their place. Because the place that they had sent me to, you know, I had actually ended up going to a different apartment and then I had actually ended up turning around out of the apartment, coming back down their street. And then when I came back down to the street that was correct, I had first initially came to it and I was supposed to make a left. But since I had made the U-turn, I was supposed to make a right on it now. When I made this right, I don't know what happened. And I swear to you, this is right before I get to the people's like entrance. When I make this right, literally all the drinks just spill over. All of them. And man, oh my god, I just felt so guilty. But it was hilarious because it's just like, dude, there's just nothing you can do. You just got to deliver and then say sorry. Like, there's just, there's nothing you could do. Like, ah. Uh, and, it, and it just, it looks bad too. Because it just looks like, bro, you just, like, like, like did you just drink my drinks? Like, bro, like, what the hell's going on here? Like, like, I don't know. Uh, to those people, I mean, I'm not going to go and say sorry. I mean, they get like, it's just the car is an accident. But it's just like, sorry, you know what I'm saying? Because your drink was messed up that night. And I feel sorry for you. But it's like, I'm not really remorseful or anything. I just have empathy for you. Anyway, Postmates is lit. You know, we're doing a little, little bit, little by little, day by day. Um, and yeah, what we also want to be doing day by day is the fucking gym, but we, we can't seem to get in there. You know, we, we can't seem to, 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 to build the focus up to, 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 to get the grind going, you know, because it's, 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 it's a fucking tough thing to fucking go for, man. Honestly, it, it, it's a really, it really is. And, and honestly, I just, uh, I, you know, okay, here's the thing about the gym. I don't want to see every local dickhole in my local gym. And then I don't want to pay a premium for a gym that's a little bit out. And even when I am paying for that slight premium, I don't want to even see the slightly local Johns over there. Like, I just want my own personal gym. But then again, I just don't want to work out. I don't know. It's, it's just... <laughs> it's a mess. I'm sure I'm like most American sheeple. I'm just, I'm, I honestly, I, I just don't know what to do with myself. Seriously, when it comes to that department, just letting my metabolism do the work, honestly. 
And we're eating and drinking, uh, you know, kale and different, you know, fruits and shit like that. So it's like, you know, maybe I'll just get skinny automatically. Anyway, it's a rambling workshop. Oh, let's get it. Let's get something going here. Too. Oh, what, what do we got? It's ramble time. You already know what it is. It's a little late, but who gives a damn? This show's the fucking bomb, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's not without you, listeners. So let me just, again, shoot you guys a shout out. Shout out to you. 25 episodes. It's all you. All right. We're 15 minutes into the 16 minutes into this thing. Holy shit. And we haven't even crossed like half of the things on my fucking list. I've just been going on. This week has been a pretty eventful one. <sighs> Dropped the love music video. Listener. Love. Yes, love. That's the song that I believe you guys have actually heard before. But if you haven't, let me actually get a snippet for you guys. Yeah. Drop this music video and, you know, honestly, um, if I could just talk about, like, shooting it and shit, it's just, honestly, a really fun thing that I did. And I did it last weekend, you know, like, you know, during the hiatus or whatever. And I had a great time. I was shooting by myself. I was just, it was just me and my camera, just doing just whatever and I went to Basket Robbins because I had this idea of taking Linda on a date and I filmed some shit inside my car because I just had just these I these ideas and just you know thoughts about that and I you know I was outside for a while I was under the sun it was fucking hot and I was wearing a jacket so I was committing to the like to the role of the music video like like having two different looks because so, when you watch it there's two different looks that I have it's a black there's a white and um not even there's a black there's a white it's just one with a jacket one without the jacket really and then it's just like you know it's just it's i don't know i just try to go for a little bit of i guess you could say uh variety in um like a little bit and not much just variety in in just things one person could do i'm just trying to stress that and um even though i don't particularly put that out like oh this is just a one-man job on this one like how i did on the league if you go to my last music video the league um for that song i definitely did do like a uh like a like a whole ass like little like thing in the comments talk about this or that but for linda you know for linda ep it's all about linda it's all about this it's all about her and because it's about that I just think that it's appropriate that, hey, I'm just going to put this out and we're just going to see how people like it. One man show or not. We're not going to make that the the focus. So um, but it is that. And I want to stress it here just because, God damn it, it was fucking hard to make low key, like not hard to make. But it was just like it was, it was just like it was just like a trying thing. And I felt like it just goes back to my whole blight. You know, like, I hope somebody just listens and finds this shit and gets inspired, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, and, and somebody that I like, by the way, but, 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 you know, my thing is, 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 damn it, everything is harder alone. Everything is more difficult when you do it alone. Everything is more difficult. But what I've found in life is that I'm the, just the kind of person where I just always get fed up with just doing shit the same. And so I just, I just always feel the need to just break out to just, just, I mean, as my honest, you know, spirit mentor says, you know, go ape. I, I just want to do that. Like, I, and I just, kind of lose myself in that shit sometimes and honestly there are a few people that reciprocate the same kind of energy the only problem is is that those people are a dime a dozen and every one of us right these people that that have this same energy we just you know we're all very different and it's just a struggling it's just it's just it's just it's just a hard thing i'm 
it's hard thing. It's just a difficult thing I'm struggling with right now where it's just like I've got ideas and I've got things I want to do, but I'm held back by the fact that I feel like nobody really wants to help out. But the people that I do find that are actually doing their thing, I find that they're just, you know, putting in more work so that they could actually just meet with more people and see more people and just connect more. So I'm just seeing that I have to do that more, but I'm just at the same time like, man, like, it's just, I don't know. I only feel the need to connect to people that, like, I just, that I feel, like, that I, that I am just drawn to really honestly and 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 let it be known when i am drawn to you to your energy whatever i will make that shit clear like i will just tell you like i need you to be around me more like period like just just straight up straight up like i'm just i'm just very much like that i just i just get over here like and um i don't know if you'll get this quite listener i don't really know how we spiraled into this but there's this weird essence about me, listener. I, I, I want to describe this. I want to I know if anybody knows what I'm talking about here when I'm talking about this phenomena. There's this weird thing that happens a lot of times. I'll go out and I try to ignore it a little bit. Not even a little bit. I'll try to ignore it a lot of it. And I'll even tell a, a little bit, a little anecdote on how I ignored it once. But I'll try to ignore it a little bit. But it's this feeling of attachment with humans that I don't know. I don't know what it is about me, but I just, I don't know if it's my face or whatever, but a lot of times I'll have it where like, I'll just start looking at a person. Like I'll be out in the world and I, and and maybe it's just the way I look. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just me. Maybe. I don't know. I, I really don't know what it is. Like, but I'll just be out in the world. Like, like, um, one time I was out in LA and we was out in L.A. It was me and my brother. And oh, who else was? I was with us. Just a few other people. And we went into uh, a subway. And we go into the subway. And there's a dude in there with fat old dreadlocks. And, like, you know, he's just. He looks like somebody. Like, you could tell. You know? And, like, homie was literally just, like, in the line. Trying to order or whatever. He was on the phone. But then he sits down after, you know, he gets his order. Or after you know, whatever, like, he's just, like, he's just, he literally, my bad, what the heck, I'm telling the story wrong, homie actually stands up, he was standing around, he looked like he was gonna take an order, but then he sits down, because I remember, he didn't have no tray or anything on his, on his, uh, this table, I think maybe, if he did order, I think maybe the only thing he had was, like, napkins on there, or maybe, like, cookies or something like that, but anyway, Dude has on, like, a leather jacket, you know, he has tattoos, like, like, kind of, like, like, a little bit on his face a little bit, and I'm kind of looking at him, like, man, do I, should I know this dude, should I know this dude, and, like, he's kind of looking like a rapper, but I'm just like, man, I just don't recognize this dude, I'm just not gonna come up off this dude just off of, like, straight, just, like, you know, you know, geek shit, so I was just looking at him, like, but I could tell his energy, and so, to confirm this fully, dude literally pulls out a damn what and just starts rolling it on the goddamn subway fucking table now i had tree myself and i was in the table behind him because i had ordered whatever i had ordered and i had been sitting there basically just looking at it because the way the tables were was that he was in front of me on a lower table and I was on like this like kind of higher table with a higher chair and I could literally just see everything he was doing the employees as well um, they were go- fixing to come over to actually tell him to stop. But before they did, I pondered to myself. I was like, man, should I go over there and just offer up some tree? This is such a perfect opportunity. I, li- I thought about it. And I thought about the different things that could happen. And I actually ended up not doing it. Like, I was just like, I just ignored it. I ignored it totally. But I could, like, it was like I could feel dude's energy. Like, I could literally... I could tell that if I had just talked to this this guy right now, he would be receptive of my energy as well. Like, I could very much feel that. And um, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, it, that sounds probably crazy as shit. But it, I don't know. Anyway, um, I eat. He gets kicked out of the, the place for um, rolling up his blunt. He finishes rolling it up, by the way, because the guy, the employee comes over, some dude 
probably like 20 years old or whatever, you know, just hates his job. He's like, hey, man, you can't do that in here. And then, you know, he's just like, man, like, I ain't really doing much. Nigga. I'm just, you know, I'm just rolling up this ball right here. I'm not even going to smoke it in here. I'm just rolling it up. And, like, this nigga's just like, <laughs> that shit was funny. Anyway, he rolls off his wood. And then um, he actually heads out of the subway. And I just kept pondering it, like, why I didn't do it. Why, I, you know, in the moment, it actually, it bugged me. So I ended up just, I was just like, yeah, yo, man, who are you, bro? Like, like you just look like somebody, bro. Like, you just look, you look connected and shit. And mind you, this is L.A. That's how, they, that's how it, it happens. Turns out, dude, I don't know, listener, if you'd be uh, well in tune with him. But turns out, dude is an associate to the up-and-coming rapper Lil Nar. You know, Lil Nar, he's coming up. He's putting out music. He's getting seen and looks with no jumper and different sites like that on the internet. He's having shows. Um, I think they're like... I think they are, uh, I think, please don't kill me. I believe they're Florida based. Um, I forgot dude's name. I really did forget dude's name, but, um, you know, he was cool. You know, we was just, we just talked to him about like just rap and shit, just like the current scene and just like what he does and whatever. And he, he just ended up just being just one of the niggas just, that was just around whatever. And like, you know, he took a picture with us. He took a picture with me and I think my brother and, Basically, that was it. But I tell this story to say, there's this feeling I get around s- certain humans, and I and I um, and I should act on it more. I think. I told a similar story when um, in 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 the uh, Cowboys Can Cry episode, episode I believe eight of the Rambling Rogue Show. If you believe we're so far away from that episode or or thirteen, I don't know what episode it was, but. Cowboys Can Cry, I tell the story about how I saw and almost met Kanye West. We even made eye contact a couple times. I'm terribly sad that that's something that I'm happy and bragging about. Well, not terribly sad, but I'm just shocked. Anyway, we made eye contact, and I, I had a real legit chance to actually go up and meet him, but I, I, I held myself back. And I just didn't do it. And it was just, I don't know why. Sometimes I just do that. Like, I just, I sense, I sense the opportunity. And then I just, I don't know. I just, I just recoil. It's a weird thing I do. I don't know. Anyway. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? So yeah, dropped love music video. Took a lot of time to make. Please go support it. Gyres Rogue, G I R E S R O W H. Love. Gyres loves Linda. Please go support. Would really appreciate that. Gyres loves Linda. Um. Speaking of support, this is something that I want to talk about. And I was very passionate about it before the podcast, before I started this. And I just grew passion for it as I actually cut the, you know, as I actually started to like write about it. And as I actually started to think about this topic and um, because I do a little bit of like just like like on the on the the docs page, like I'll do like a little bit of just like I'll just build out my thoughts a little bit on the on the Google Doc. And basically just have that shit right in front of me right here so I can just hit some main points. But, um, yeah, man, this is, my friends don't support me. And, um, I don't know how much friends are supposed to support you. I don't know how much you should expect from them, but I mean, I guess I expect too much. I don't know, but I don't know. You know, my I'm just so confused at this. It's like to me forget how you even feel about my music if if you would call me in your in, if you're in my group of friends, you're in my close circle, you can only assume that if right? And cuz we've all talked about this even. You can only assume that like if I'm rich we're all having a good time. But my only thing is, is just why does that not seep into people 
when it comes down to to building things. If I'm going to be the guy that's coming up, if I'm going to be the guy that's putting in the hours, very much I'd, I'd like from the people that are around me to just give me some feedback. That's it. Just just some feedback. At least, at least, at least that. At least that. But, you know, when you don't even get that, and you just... You're just looking for some as an artist, you know. It's a very difficult thing to go through, to not have the support of people around you. To have to, I mean, to feel like people on the internet are more supportive of you because those are the people that just niche towards your shit, right? Like, that's just the effect. I mean, not everybody's going to like what you do. It could just be that I'm in a group of people that don't like what I do. That's a totally possible thing. But my only, but the thing that gives me pause, the thing that makes me, I guess, just, just grimace is just that it's forget if you like my music, because if my music did anything, made any headweights, it would be you all same people that are going to come to me looking for opportunities, looking for come ups, looking for, looking for X, Y, Z. Whether it's, and not even, I'm not even saying money, but anything. Like, if you come to me, if my song blows up, and then you tomorrow come to me talking about, okay, well, now let's, 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 let's direct this music video, and now let's, 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 you know, make this song, and now let's, let's, you know, make some, some content on the internet, and, and now let's stream, and now let's do this, and now, like, like, if you come to me, doing that i feel like it's the exact same thing as if you were coming to me with money because you just see me as a platform for you so i'm just like you see me for value you see me for something and that is a platform for you and what i'm saying is is just that's just that's asinine to me that's so asinine to me you know i feel like it should be very very much automatic your friends at least your closest friends it should be automatic that they would just be just flat out very supportive of your shit fuck fuck just watching it liking it posting it whatever because you know the only way that actually shit spreads it's when other people do shit and you know like you 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 do ask you do ask right but but there's you see this is my thing if we all understand that there is a stigma against soundcloud rap that when the SoundCloud rapper comes out and says, check out my fucking link, if we all understand that that is a thing, why do, do, do the friends that are around you just look at you and just let you have to do that? Bruh, you could take my link and spread it yourself because you know what's better? Always, always, when somebody shoots a link versus when the, the rapper himself shoots the link, right? It's never good when the rapper himself shoots the link. But it's always decent when somebody shoots the link. Boom. That's all it is. Shoot a link. Post it up. You know, and I I just don't feel that from, from any of the people around me, man. And it's it's tough. It is tough though. Because it's like, yeah, we we are just starting in this and we are just beginning. But it's like, bruh, I'm I'm doing this for kind of all of us, like literally, like, and it's like, and even if I wasn't doing it for all of us, if that's not clear, it's like, you could see this as an opportunity. Like, I'm fine with somebody seeing me as an opportunity. That's fine. But at least put like dog, put in the hours or at least some hours, some time, not even hours, just minutes even, you know? That's all I'm asking for. I just, I, I always hear cases about, you know, people just, just doing, just going hard and, and just doing stuff like that for their friends. And I just don't, I, I don't feel it. I don't see it. I just don't. I don't, man. And, and the, and the worst part is, is that I've even been promised that. Like, I, like, I'm not even going to single people out. I'm not. But I'm just saying, like, I've had conversations with people. Sorry. You leaving? Yeah. All right. Love you. Doing this show. Sorry. I don't know if I'm going to cut that out. 
I might cut that out. Pop, no, I'm not going to cut that out. I'm not going to cut that out. I love my mom. What the hell? Anyway, yo. People people around me are 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 cool. You know, they're good. Let me just say that. And 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 they're wholehearted, right? They're not people that are into drugs. They're not people that are into, you know, different, you know, vices and shit. There are people that have their head screwed on, like, properly, I think, at least in terms of they're not, like, junkies or addicted or anything like that. So it's like, you know, that's all good. And not even just good, that's that's a blessing. I mean, you know, there are a lot of people out there that, that have grown close ties with people that end up actually doing tragic shit, and because of those close ties, they feel like you know, indebted almost, or even like they have to go do something for that person. I don't have to do that with any of my friends. In fact, some of my friends damn near almost had to do that for me. I mean, even though actually none of them did, but, but besides the point, I'm grateful for them in that regard. But what I see in them, in each of them, and this is five plus people here we're talking about, is is at least some energy i see this i see this i see this creativity and while some of them work on it more than others i'm just like still at a loss when we can call ourselves a group yet it feels damn near like nobody else really supports anybody is really going what the heck yo i already fed her though okay i might actually have to cut this off will i let me make my point i'll feed her right now anyway look friends are supposed to support each other and you know what i'm just saying this if you are a friend to somebody and you see them going through something and you see them going through it and it's maybe a little bit off the beaten path, whether you're an artist, you know, you could you could even be you could you could be doing pretty much whatever. You know, you should really go support those people. You know, and when I say support those people, I mean really support those people like Ask them maybe what they need. Like, ask them if everything's all right. Ask them or or maybe even just congratulate them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not saying in my case anybody should congratulate me. I don't think I've really done much of anything. If, if anything, I'm just really asking for people to criticize me. But, yeah, like, like just more of that shit. Because I'm just like, bro, like, it's just crazy to me. And I know this is not just my group of friends. It's crazy to me that people will just watch you go through your shit. And they'll only turn on when it turns on. Like, you have to, like, come on. Like, I'm your friend. You do not, you don't trust, you don't trust that I know what's going on here, that I see the gold, that I see the the potential. You don't trust that? Like, it just, it just, I don't know, it just kind of irks me a little bit because it just makes me feel like it's like the people I'm around are just literally around me just to kind of just be there. I always read stuff about how friends are supposed to uplift each other and how, you know, the people around me are supposed to make me better and bring me up. I just don't feel that from the people around me. And I don't know if that's a very healthy thing. Anyway, this cat is going on. I wanted to go in on a couple other different things. Um, the hiatus was due to the theft video. Theft video, I just want to give quick thoughts on that. Theft video. Basically, I stole. Made a mistake. It was a stupid one. Um, I edited that video terribly, and you can go watch it. Yeah. Yeah theft video I'm now at a new job where I uh, actually am at much less risk to do anything klepto 
And <laughs> yeah, you know, I just, it's just we're, we're just doing shit day by day. You know, I'm trying to work on my moral compass, too. Because I'm noticing that a lot of the behaviors that, that I don't like about myself, they're just in things that that I do on a daily basis. You know, they're just in things that they're just they're just, uh, I guess, tied in with, you know, daily activities and they're tied in with, I guess, ideas that I and and different motions that I go through all the time, you know. Shit that'll make you go steal is like when you're shown constant, you know, images and and shit glorifying theft. So then you feel like petty theft is like whatever, you know? I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyway, I made a mistake. I feel like I paid for that mistake. And then I posted about it. That kitty is going crazy. Damn it. Hold on. Uh... Banana Boys may return. All I'm saying on that. Why does it sound like there's multiple cats? What the fuck is going on? Um, hold on. Uh, yeah, let me just cut this shit off.